Okay, hello everyone. It's John Hodel with Cloud Point Geographics. Uh, today we're going to take a look at how to fix these nasty curves that you may experience uh, in the parcel fabric after you've done a migration project. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So here we've got a cul-de-sac and we see all these small points that are from our uh, migration process that the curve didn't get created quite properly. So what we're going to do is a, we're going to do a construct from parent and we're going to take a look if we zoom in look at these uh, these two radii so I know from uh, looking at it that this one here is going to be a 20 foot radius and then it reaches uh, into a 50 foot radius around the curve there so what we're going to do is start by looking at our curve and we can see where it uh, basically starts and stops so we can see here the 20 foot radius starts at 4 and goes to 28 and if we look at my parcel details window we can see that that created a line I want to be sure and show my selectable parent lines and then what I'm going to do is it's important to note that the line I just added goes from point number 3 to point number 28 so what I'm going to do is go up here in my table find point number 3 and scroll down to point number 28 and I want to highlight that holding down the shift key and I'm going to mark all of those looks like I got one extra line there so we want, there we go now we're going to right click mark those as unbuildable and then we want what we want to do is go down and we're going to add the radius to the line that we drew now and of course we know that that's 20 and you can see that it actually made the curve and it's right on top of those points that we just marked as unbuildable. So you can see there's my new curve. Now we're going to go up and look at this next section here that we can see we've got several points scattered along there. These should all be a 50 foot radius consistent all the way around. So I'm going to draw in another line here to uh, make up for this with this section here and we're going to start with uh, point number 29 and we're going to draw this line all the way up to connect up here to point 43. We're going to say 2.43 and you can see my line isn't showing yet. I'm going to right click and do a compute line and then you'll see it show up there. So if we zoom out again we'll see our straight line <clears throat> that's bridging the gap and the reason we do this is because if we delete or mark these points unbuildable prior to that we may have some shift changes in our geometry and we don't want that so I'm going to before I make the radius uh, I'm gonna look between points 29 and 43 I'm gonna mark those as unbuildable so if we go up here we can see okay there's where it starts and we're gonna go down to 43 holding down the shift key we're going to mark all these as unbuildable and we'll see those if we toggle we'll, the selection tool we'll see that those are now unbuildable so now I'm going to go back to my line here we're going to put in a 50 foot radius and you can see it lines up very well now I'm ready to go ahead and uh, construct this parcel and I'm actually going to do a build and keep all current and in this case it did build our new parcel if we zoom out here we'll see our new parcel there and if we open up the parcel lines we're gonna see it's much cleaner you can see we've just got the simple radius and uh, much cleaner a lot fewer points so there you have it that's how you can uh, clean up your curves especially in areas of cul-de-sacs like this here and uh, helps uh, get your parcel fabric all cleaned up if you have any questions, don't hesitate to visit our website at cloudpointgeo.com. Thank you.